this ball game we have seen so far. We've got five innings in the books. It's 3-2 in favor of Japan. Mexico has managed only two hits. Both those hits are home runs, and both those home run hitters are due up in the bottom of the sixth inning. What's at stake? A lot more from Mexico than Japan. They need to win to stay alive. If they do, they'll force another game with Japan on Thursday with the winner advancing. If Japan wins tonight, they will advance to the international championship game. Next door at Lomity Stadium, Washington and Connecticut, about 13 minutes away from starting. And for those of you who are in Connecticut and Washington, we will get you there so you will not miss any of that action. But here, six outs to go. At least if we play six innings with Japan leading 3-2. Squared to bunt, and Saito fouls that one off. You know, the story of the game, and you just said it during the break to me, the inability of Mexico to get the bunt down twice they had chances in both the fourth and fifth inning and couldn't get the runners over. First and second and no outs, no execution, and first and a first and no out leadoff hitter. Could not get the bunt down, could not score the run. So we're in the sixth inning of a 3-2 game with Japan trying to advance to the international title game. Takeshi Saito. That pitch misses away. Jorge Morris, the relief pitcher, has been outstanding for Mexico. Outstanding Morris has been with that breaking ball that sweeps to the back door, outside corner to right-handers, and then hey. once in a while, sweeps it on the other side of the plate, down and in. Really important, right, for Mexico to keep Japan off the bases and keep them from adding on to that lead. Right now, one-run game with the middle of the, o the order sounds doable, but a two-run lead sounds doomable. 2-2 two, two to Saito, it's outside, 3-2. Fans of both teams have their respective chants going. 3-2 to Saito, that ball driven to right field, but it is caught out there in right field. So one man up, one man down. Zane Rios makes the play. Here with the bat out in front, he's not thinking about bunny. That's a timing device that many uh, Asian hitters use. Put the bat out in front so you then pull it back to have timing on the pitch. Saito did for the line drive. One out. Number 19, Rio Motego gets in there, swings and misses. Motegi one for one in the game. He had a single in the fourth inning. That's way outside, and it's now one and one. Typical Japan-Mexico game. Recently, they've all been close. They've all been intense. The one one, that's down two and one. And this just furthers the rivalry between these two teams. Mexico knocked Japan out of the last two Little League World Series in 2008-2009. 2-1, Motegi on the ground to second. Tough play on a bad hop, but well done over there by Daniel Rodriguez, and there are two men down. Morris is just doing a super job. Pitt doing exactly what his team needs, keeping them at bay. One run game. And you think that these two baseball countries are so far apart in geography, yet so close in competition on the field. It's just a marvel that Little League can bring them together. Conan Tomori swings and misses. It's been Tomori's night. He started the game for Japan, pitched outstanding. Then he went over to first base and had the unassisted double play in the last inning. Strike two. Will he do some damage with the bat or will we go to the bottom of the sixth inning with Mexico trailing by one and their best hitters do up? The 0-2, foul back. Tamori looking to get the win if his team can hold on. Tamori swings and misses in Mexico, and Mares do their job. 
Now it's all on the line with Puga, Mata, and Penalosa coming up. The three, four, five hitters. Puga and Penalosa have gone deep already. 